Have you heard about this tech billionaire? I think his name's Brian Johnson. He's worth like a, a, some billion dollars. He's now spending $2 million a year to try to be as young as possible. What do you mean? So, okay. So, uh, oh, wait, hold on. I think I saw a picture of this guy actually. Yes, you can pull up a picture of it. It's really interesting. So, yeah, he's a billionaire. He, I think he's. 40 something, mm -hmm. but he, he like, made his money by, he, I think invented that company Braintree and Braintree acquired Venmo for like 26 million. And then Venmo was acquired by PayPal for like billion something dollars. Okay. This guy's a shit ton of money he, and he's, and he's determining that he wants to have the body a mind, bones, teeth, penis rectum of an 18 year old. He's striving for what? this every year and he's willing to spend $2 million on having his own like regenerative team to ensure that his body isn't going to be the best condition. He's gonna make sure that he eats the right foods every day, uh, 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 goes to bed at the right time, works out. And how old is he? 40 something pull it pull up isn't it crazy that it costs two Brian million Johnson dollars a year to be able to are they, i mean are they the are they achieving this right now well it doesn't sound like he looks freaky i mean you look he looks like a young guy but like oh b-r-y-a-n is this like a little experiment he wants to do with himself or is he like just yeah i, I saw that picture well this him. isn't about his regenerative thing this is about how he made his money like that first article said he wants to stop time <laughs> yeah don't we all yeah right I mean, that can't be good for you. But he, it, apparently it, he's having this whole like medical suite in his house, like de devoting an entire room to like get all this maintenance stuff on his and body. And we thought day. we were doing too much when we would get IV drips like, after like Coachella. Exactly. <laughs> like, we're like, ugh. And he's like doing a whole Twitter thread on. He's like phase one, maximally slow, the speed of aging. Phase two, reverse biological age. Is he, is he genuinely crazy or is he like, ooh, this is funny. I'm gonna try to do this and see if it works. I think he do just you know has I mean? the money to be able to do it. And he's like, I wanna look and feel as young as possible. Yes, like, he has the money. It. So he wants to know if it's possible yeah. to done. I mean, the guy's like Mormon. He doesn't drink. He like lives a really strict like okay. life. But his face, like there is one close up of his face that looks like super like smooth and young. It's weird. <sighs> I don't know. He still looks 40 to me. Is he trying to look like he's 18 or he wants to just feel? Internally, be, he wants to re, see if it's possible to reverse aging. And okay, willing okay. To spend. so it sounds like an experiment that he's, that he's but, willing to put himself through. But you know what? By all means, I love knowing that someone's out there putting Trying. it to the yeah, test sure. to yeah. know if it is possible. How much would you spend a year <laughs> to look and feel 18 again? If, like, even if I, I was a billionaire, I wouldn't spend that much money. I, I just was, don't think- I was ugly at that age, so I just, I nothing like, to I'm good with Yeah, that. right? I looked, I looked really old when I was younger. He, so he reverses I'm, it, he starts getting acne again. It's like very- yeah. yeah. You know what the only thing I think I cosmetically would get if I w had a shit ton of money? Yeah. Calf implants. To be taller? No, just, just to just look want, like I calves. have like good running calf. Trust me, I've, you know, my legs, I know there's no way. I've, I've done the research. Calves are genetic. Calves are completely genetic. And I always feel like it's the one thing, if it's like I'm wearing shorts, I get so insecure about because I just have these really lean, just uh -huh. long You got like calves. a long tenderloin. You don't yes. have like a- I want that little meat. You want where that? You, where in, in, it's the, but I wouldn't tell a damn soul. <laughs> yes, you have calf implants. And everyone would just be like, but there, there's no way you could just like make it a little beefier. No, like not, you not sure? dramatically enough. No, I feel like I've seen before and after pictures of people like real some scrawny and then they have no, some people like their genetics, just the way their calf looks and the way it's built. You can like work them out and make them stronger, but yeah. like, it's just the shape of it. Some people, they don't have the calf yeah, that I like definitely stick don't. out and protrude. I've, I've danced my whole life and I, I cannot, like, I don't have like dancer legs. Mm. I mean like any, but you have good calves too. Like, like you want just like a little, like I meat over here. It's just, it's just too lean. I want like this sturdy. It's like when you see like a, like a bass, that's got like a nice belly. <laughs> yeah. Like you don't want that. <laughs> that's yeah, oh that's the guy. That, like that's, that's, that's scary to me. Like well, that's terrifying. But yeah, he does look 40. You, I mean, you can't hide that. You can't hide that like, shit. He still has a 45 year old heart. So what's the point? Well, he's, gonna... he's gonna see if it's possible to reverse age it. Like, oh god, his even his nails are changing color. He almost looks like kind of like <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, the toxins escaping yeah, right. through the fingertips. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think this guy. I think he's like an angel investor. I don't think he's like really like 
working like super. He's not running like a full on company right now. You right? said he's doing it to himself. He is doing it himself, but like I think he's a guy who's like kind of. I was judging. I was judging him as I was. I wanted to test out the way his face moves and what he sounded like. I just think it's weird to like strive to have like the penis of an eighteen year old. Like what do you? That was that was in the article. It said rectum and penis of an eighteen year old. I was. It's almost like questionable. Like that's a little. It's getting a little creepy. When you give it an age, just try to be as young as possible. Why are we going like eighteen? You could look like you could look good for the age you are, but don't try to like. Do you guys think we're we're just we're just not there yet? I feel like in we're just not there yet. I think maybe in thirty years I'll come up with shit that can help you look as young as possible for as long, but like, don't like just do this. I hope this just commits and it works out. People are going to be like, Hey Brian, how's that $2 million? <laughs> but how do you, how do you prove it? Like, see, look, see, doesn't it look 18? Yes. Like, what do you, <laughs> guys, it worked. <laughs> Interesting. All right, and let's run this he, intro. Is he going to keep renewing it? Yeah, this is something yeah. you have to uh, keep up for life. Let's run this like, intro. Oof, all right. Uh, it's it's Covital, baby. baby. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> my headphones. Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we are Unfiltered. Thank you so much for coming back to another episode. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we talking about, wait, has y'all, have y'all released the, the, the what? The, the what? The matcha? No, matcha's coming very, very soon. No. I, should, I leaked that shit on my Instagram. My oh, no, no, no. We've, no, I, no, I, no, we've fine. been teasing it. We've I been teasing it. I was telling them, I didn't realize that it was released like coming soon. Like they were posting full on, like obviously matcha's coming. I didn't know on the Cremota page they were showing that. And I was thinking I was doing something. I posted it in black and white uh, <laughs> with the eye with the eye emoji, like coming soon. And then I saw they're posting green. Anyway. Dude, I, I, we've, been, we've had these cups on the podcast for the last five episodes. Yeah, that's you didn't I, notice that. Well, yeah, but then I just feel like we would have been talking about it. And then I just had it on my Snapchat one day no. and I was like, oh, upload that. And I posted and I was sitting on the plane. And I was like. <laughs> Did I just leak that? <laughs> yeah, no, we figured just to just to like have fun and just throw it on throw it on the podcast and just see what happens. Do you guys remember when like that one guy like left an iPhone at the bar before it was released? No, Did you hear about that? like it was like when the iPhone 10 was coming out, but no one knew what it looked like. Someone who worked for Apple and had the new iPhone, like it was found at a bar. And everyone was like, what? This is the new <laughs> iPhone. But there was a whole theory where people thought that that guy put it at the bar for it to intentionally be discovered. I Got think it. so. Uh, yeah, that's, I agree with that. I, I love There's when no people way. like work for a big company and they leak stuff. I love their little like, tactics. It's like they're just doing, well, just doing what we all want to do. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like yeah. somebody's got the balls to do it. Yes, they got in trouble. Yeah, they got. They might have lost their job, but they did that shit. They yeah. leaked it. And it's just like, I don't know. It's cool. It's kind of like, like a, you yeah. know? Yeah, but do you remember like uh, you'd go on YouTube and you'd look up like, Xbox 720. Yes. Like Xbox. <laughs> and it's all like fake leaks so. though. Fake and you would believe that shit like it was real. And people put it together on Photoshop and you're just like, wait. <laughs> yeah, they would make like the, the next iPhone was like the, it was pure glass. <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna be able to like look through that have shit. You, have you seen people are like, I don't know if they're fake leaks, but the new iPhone is gonna fold now? Oh, uh, yes. The, yes gal- the, the galaxies do that. It, we, Apple's so late. Or Samsung, what is it called? Yeah, the Samsung I, I, Galaxy. I don't think they're gonna have a foldable iPhone for the next one. I just don't see that. People, I feel like people are gonna hate it because if they wanted that, I'm they would go real. to I don't know, Zane, we if, tried it If the there was store. a folding iPhone, I would be the first one to buy it. It's really fun. It's so. It's just so satisfying. Yeah, it is satisfying. Like the, Especially the, the tablet one. Yeah. It's, and the camera quality is ooh, unbelievable. Yeah. You're talking about for the iPhone or for no the, ga- for the, the Samsung already has one that folds. Oh yeah, it yeah, looks I know like that. An iPhone, so we used we tried it in the store, and it was really. If nice. Apple came out with it, I'd be the first. I mean, give me that. <laughs> so when you fold it, are you able to like what are you able to do with the phone once it's folded? You, you can, can still the use the back. It's got a normal iPhone screen on it. Got it. Like it's you, a little thicker though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's still something satisfying about it. Okay. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna read my my yeah. ebook. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> so when it's when it's wait when it's folded, it's this uh, it's this size. Yeah, yeah. got it. Okay, to... I thought it folds from this size <laughs> like to something super. I'm thin. like, why would I want something that looks like a remote like in my pocket? <laughs> Apple's the same thing as Taco Bell. It's all the same thing, just in a slightly different yes. shape. All the same ingredients, like the iPads. 
is the same as the MacBook because you can get the keyboard on it with the mouse and everything and use mm -hmm. it. Like it's just like it's all the same thing. You can do a little bit more with a computer. It's a little bit more powerful. Yeah, yeah. A little more powerful. Like I, I don't know why I can't use an iPad. I just feel like that's not enough. I need to be on a laptop my, to my get any work done. My thing is the done. iPad seems quicker. The the laptops now it's just like you got to turn it on and wait and like <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. that whole boot time. I'm like the iPad's always good to yeah. go. But sometimes there's not enough space on an iPad that you really do need on a uh, on a MacBook. Mm. Yeah, I find myself on the iPad and I, I just put it away. I'm like, let me just go on the computer, it'll be faster. Cause I'm not fast at an iPad. Yeah. I'm a lot slower. I need like the mouse and the keyboard. It's like- Have you heard about like the millennial pause? Yes. What is that? Wait, I've heard that, what is it? So yeah, the millennial pause is something that a lot of Gen Z is noticing that millennials do when we film videos. Oh yes. That we go like, Okay, so if you see a TikTok of like a Gen Z kid who is saying to the camera and there's cuts, it's right to the point. It's like, okay. there's no pause a moment. It's almost like their first word is like cut off a little bit, but you get the gist of what they're saying. Like, yeah, millennials you know I mean? just, cause millennials, when we click record, we like want to see that it's recording. And then we go, okay guys. So today there's this moment. So we pause before we speak and it's recorded. Got yeah, it. And they pick and just and I think, but we're 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 uh we're in the social media millennials. I think we know when we edit to eliminate the pause, but yeah, I have never left a pause like that in anything. Oh, I've Zane, ever we know Zane. Zane. I Zane, am Zane, choppity if, chop if, chop. If no Zane fucking breathes, pause. Zane takes a second to breathe. Cut it out. Absolutely. Cut and you know what? I don't even like completing my last word in any video. I want it chopped off. I want that you last. I get is. that because I I feel like it's funnier. It's and funnier. I feel like the, cause our attention span, I want it cut off. I'm exactly. Like, just, just get to it. And, and it's it's a little bit funnier when you cut that yeah. last letter out of that know, last word. I don't word. know yeah. why, but yeah. It's great. But you know what the millennial, millennial zoom is? No. Yes, yes. What is that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is when that? They're, they're trying to make a point and they're like, you know what happened the other day? And they'll, they'll zoom, zoom in, in and then they'll zoom back out. Uh, and it's like, oh, they're like you guys- And they're doing guys, it like every other word. Yeah, oh, I have yeah, seen that. I can't you go, you guys that. know what I mean when someone does that <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know that was a millennial thing because like, I noticed kids doing it and I was like, this is so, like it's very um, Emma Chamberlain's like fan base. It's it's mille it's millennials try thinking that it's they're funny to, to do it. That on TikTok, oh, okay. yeah. I, it, and the millennial Zoom is the. It's just it's slight. naturally where they're do. Like you can do a Zoom on like a vlog, I think, yeah. and still make it funny. Yeah. But when you're doing it like just the in Me and the, out, the, yeah, funny yeah, with yeah. your finger, you're like exactly okay. Or just like start start like that and end like that. Don't like zoom back like in and out throughout the whole video. It's just like you lose you lose them. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's just it's not a fun. little overkill when they keep doing it. Okay. Yeah. Like, Our emojis out. I, Our emojis I out? I can't tell I've you the last been, time I texted with him an emoji. and I that's you know, one of the things I noticed about him when we first started dating is he doesn't use emojis and I don't use emojis. I've never been an emoji gal. Oh, Patricia, she never uses emojis, but I try to use loving emojis. Like I'm always adding hearts and uh -huh. stuff. She's uh, like, "Good night, love you." And I'm like, Love you too. Hearts, <laughs> hearts, Kissy. moons, like, holding, uh, like dancing. We then, just use uh, exclamation points. Yeah, I, I, I use it. Yeah. I use it as a um, as sarcastically. It has to I be a one. Ever, too, ever use it? Yeah, Seriously. I like it as like a one emoji just response, like a funny rare one. Yeah, I will That's say like, one that does make sense that I have used kind of sarcastically, but it just makes something so much funnier is like the melting emoji. It's like. Uh, Oh, it's, it's so real, that's good. really good. It's yeah. So the melting one and then the like oosh, oh, the I don't dirt know. like yeah. it's like, oh. like those two are the best thing that ever happened on iPhone. <laughs> I love them. I also like the like the dead one or it's like stenciled out. It's a smiley oh, face. Oh yeah, and the it's dashed. Just like, yeah. Oh wait, wait, <laughs> what? that's what what is that one? It's I like think... transparent almost. <laughs> but it, it, you use it as like a like like I'm disappeared, like I'm dead. Yeah. I don't know, oh. like. <laughs> that, damn, I've never actually, I've really never funny. seen that one being used anywhere. Like I've seen it always in my like, if it's like, I see something cringy and I send it to someone else, like it's uh, like okay. inside joke. I'm just like, yo, <laughs> but it's like a, it's a more dead way. It's of just equivalent being... to Homer Simpson disappearing into the book. Yes. Uh, <laughs> right? Perfect. Yes, that's exactly that's good. what it is. Yeah, that's what it Or I love the one where just the girl's standing. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, just the standing emoji, but the way they're standing is just really, it's that It's funny, funny when they're used for like memes, like, or like the blind one yeah. is so good in, in the right context. It's so good. I don't, I didn't see anything here. Like, 
Yeah, oh, yeah. that one. The, the um, yeah, this. this <laughs> what the? I, yeah, I've never seen that I one being that. used. That melting one is. Fr- That's is the amazing. melting one. Go up. Show them the melting one. That the yeah that one. Oh, it's just so like it's just like it's this. It's almost the it's same the vibe subtle. as the. <laughs> they're yeah, the one. raising the eyebrow one is pretty good too. We're like. <laughs> they're getting I they, they're getting good with them though. Like it just if you notice some of like the um the one with the big nose, like Pinocchio. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, like just like, like you fucking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the I really like what the is one the smoke one. No, dude, the eyebrow the raising of the eyebrow one, if somebody comments that on your thing, that's like a knife in the chest. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Like, is it just me or does anyone like agree with me of what's going <laughs> yeah. on? Yeah. What the hell is going on? Like, like, are you seeing what I'm seeing? And you're like, what did I do? <laughs> what are they seeing? <laughs> what are they seeing? Do you see the one with the the guy who's like like this, like with the smoke coming out? Yeah. I Ooh. love that one. Have you ever seen Wait, that one? Which one? The, the one, on the one right? next, the Zane, one on the right. Zane does, if I can, if Zane was an emoji, he'd be that one. The whoo. Oh, oh, like, <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 like, oh, like, <laughs> That's always so good to, Oh no, I like that, that like, one. That one's good for like, um, uh, crisis averted. You, or oh. just like, <laughs> you suck. <laughs> yeah, or, oh, that's what it or is. like, yeah. um, or just like, couldn't it be me? <laughs> yeah, that, it, it's so good. <laughs> Dude, that vomit one is intense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I think they like enhanced it. They added like more. I love when you notice they start adding more details. Or that like tearing up one, people like only use that sarcastically. <laughs> oh, wait, which one? Like, nah, hold on. I think my, my favorite one up there like is- Like Zane, me and- <laughs> The, sorry, the half face salute. Like, yeah, it's why, that, like is it half? <laughs> why is it half? I think it's just like, like I, oh, I, I don't think there would be enough space for it if it was full. Well, I, I like, it it kind of like adds to it to make it like <laughs> a little bit more like sarcastic. Like, I bid you farewell. <laughs> or good luck. Or, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, it, I don't know. It's intense. That's funny. Maybe, maybe he's like leaving. He's on his way out. Like I, like uh, I'll, I'll be back. Hmm. Oh, the one though I feel like emotes the most is the ones where it's like it's like borderline crying, but it's complaining. No, <laughs> that would one? the ones that are like, uh, oh like, yeah. You're talking about the one next to yes. the blue and the blue oh, and the yellow one. When you're like saying something. Like I feel bad for it. I feel that emoji is like in pain, like true anguishing. Like yeah. I also like when people use them in comments, <laughs> say there's like a video of two people fighting and one person's like screaming and over the top and like uh-huh. just almost funny, scary. And the other person's calm, cool and collected. And then they go girl on the left and they use the devil emoji and, the, <laughs> and then their girl and then girl on the right. It's like hearts and flowers and, <laughs> and diamonds. Uh, you can be really funny with emojis. Yeah, oh. that, that I still like those. Uh, <laughs> The, the three whip. the three yellow <laughs> sparkles that they use for a certain word. Yeah. It's definitely out of style, but I still do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was wondering why it kept going back. What the fuck? Oh my gosh, that was scary. Is oh my it, God. Is it because I brought up the devil? <laughs> Not today, Sorry, Satan. All technical oh. difficulties. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, Noom. When we decide to lose weight, it's usually not just about the number on the scale. Whatever your reason is for wanting to make a change, Noom Weight is ready to help. And Noom Weight uses psychology, and that's why they say losing weight starts with your brain. Exactly. The program helps you understand the science behind your eating choices and why you have cravings. And to date, Noom Weight has helped over 4.6 million people lose weight. And remember, everybody's journey is different, so your daily lessons are personalized to you and your goals. Exactly. Scientific principles like cognitive behavioral therapy help you understand your relationship with food. Its flexible program focuses on progress instead of perfection, and you don't have to give up carbs or anything. And you get to choose your level of support from five-minute daily check-ins to personal coaching. Active first-time Noomers lose an average of 15 pounds in 16 weeks, and 95% of customers say Noom Weight is a good long-term solution. And Noom Weight's approach is grounded in science. They've published more than 30 peer-reviewed scientific articles describing their methods and effectiveness. And I know the hardest thing for me is thinking that I can't have anything bad or just completely going on some crazy crash diet, Mm -hmm. but that's not the case with Noom. It's getting a better understanding with you and food and knowing that you can have that little cheat meal or you can have a little snack and and not feel bad about yourself. It's it's more about um, building better habits. I've actually learned over the past year that it's better to balance your food out instead of just completely cutting out bad food and eating healthy food. And because when you start to eat bad food again, then you gain it, you binge and you gain it all back. 
So I agree with this, Matt, and I think this is the best way to do it. So stay focused on what's important to you with Noom Weight's psychology-based approach and sign up for your trial today at Noom.com slash unfiltered. That's N-O-O-M.com slash unfiltered to sign up for your trial today. And check out Noom's first ever book, The Noom Mindset, a deep dive into the psychology of behavior change, and it's available to buy now wherever books are sold near you. Thank you, Noom, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you. People that collect like Nike Dunks and Jordans, they definitely use that blue ice frozen Ooh. Oh, oh yeah, like man, that shit is cold. <laughs> Yo. I would love to see mm. different conversations of people using different emojis just to see how they use yes. it. Yeah. that'd be really interesting. People are funny these days on the internet. Like so funny comments, man. I can't keep up. That iced out emoji. <laughs> It is cold. Like someone posts like oh, exclusive the, dunks. The, go down the the purple smiling devil when that weed is fire. Like send that. Like, oh, yo, this, no, this gosh. shit is. <laughs> Some of those hearts need to go. Like you don't need to wrap one up. Yeah, I I, I, I hate those. the boo boo heart. I love the double pink heart. That's the one I do the most. The get well soon. The hundred. See that one's a sarcastic one. The hundred with the. Oh flames. yeah, I'll do like the laugh and crying face with the hundred, 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 hundred. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire, 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 100, 100. I want to be on the, is there an emoji that you feel like is, an is missing? Yeah. A There's pickle. a few. They don't have a pickle. There's no pickle. Oh. I tried to use it the other day. And I feel Bush. like that could be You know be what used. I had to do? I had to find a picture of a pickle, save it to my camera roll. Do you know now you can hold down a picture and it'll make oh, the background yeah. transparent and it'll make it a sticker? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's how I sent it. So I like made my own emoji. Oh, cute. <laughs> that's, that's good. It was very important to the joke. Oh, there's still like <laughs> a handful of like American food that's not included because it, 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 emojis food. are all made by a Japanese company. Whoa, so whoa, there's whoa, always whoa, like- whoa. <clears throat> I've never seen a lot of these. Oh, I love this one. I was this close to- <laughs> <laughs> What? This close to losing my shit. <laughs> the middle finger is so good. The Italian one's my favorite. I do use that one. Oh, I've never seen I was, that I was one. What is this? I have not seen this one. Which one? The hand that's like, that's this. Oh. What? Oh, reaching. Yeah, why is it just like. Is that on our phones right now? Yeah. They added a whole bunch recently. I can't wow. believe they have this one. That was great. Yeah, that's a good touch. Have you know about this one? Like the little hearts? Like it's supposed yeah. to be like a little heart? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. We used to do that at Panda Express. That's a that's like a K-pop thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's big it's in like heart. Korean culture. Oh, I hate those hearts. I can't uh, believe they brought that back. I've been I've been kind of doing this one ironically. You know lately. which one I hate? Oh, uh, that, wait, let me see. Uh, that heart. I used to do that all the time. No, you don't when, like no, that. Kids I just do this now. I'll they did. They do one hand, I'll one hand like this, and they go. I'll never forget at the end of our theater banquet in high school, there was a girl who went up and she was like a senior and she was like saying how much she loved the theater program and everything. And she's like, so-and-so, I heart you so much. And I'll <laughs> never forget it. <laughs> oh, it was the cringiest thing ever. It stayed with me. Damn. Oh, wait, so what do you got? Are y'all going to Florida this weekend? Yeah. We, uh, yes, we'll be there this weekend. For the same champion Porsche. Porsche. Yeah, yeah, champion Porsche. Hell We're yeah. going to be, um, we'll just be there. We'll be meeting people selling coffee. Cold coffee or hot really, coffee? Really gone. So we have uh, a couple baristas and espresso stations. So we're going to be doing espresso drinks, iced espresso. Hell yeah. Different stuff. Are you going, Mariah? I am going. Shit. Well, sorry, guys. If y'all come out, I will not be there. I'll be at a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> My first wedding of the year. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be fun. We'll be there Friday, Saturday. Uh, I think I'm going to come back Sunday sometime. They begged for Kromota back. They said, you, we are not oh, having yeah. this event unless Kromota's there. There won't be one single car. <laughs> do you do you just hate that like you can't just take your Porsche to the Porsche event? I know. I, I bet you're there. Like, like when, I have one. one. Back at home. I, I said that last year. I was like, do you feel like you're talking to people? Like, I, I have I have one. I do. Yeah, you need to have <laughs> yeah, just, like, a mine. picture frame of it nearby. Be like, this is what mine looks yeah, like. It, it, it's in another state. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she go goes to a different school. Different school. So Mr. Beast helped a thousand blind people see it again yeah that's amazing mariah just told me that i need to watch the video because i don't think i understand people I, people were up like people were i think were, people were upset that he was able to do it like so easily or it was just so like how, how i didn't i didn't watch the video i did not watch the video there's yet. also a lot the same here but i also i think there's tons of different forms of blindness yeah so right. they're these people are legally blind so basically they have something in their eye that is fogged up so the surgery only takes 10 minutes and they go in and they basically unclog it. Oh, that's it. what my grandma just got. What's it called? Do you know? Cataracts. 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 Right. So he showed in the beginning of the video um, how they see. And it's basically 
how we see without glasses or contacts, but uh, like 10 times. But so like, super they, like out. legally blind people, not that they see black, they itch, everything's just really blurry. Yeah. They go in and they cut, they put like a little incision on your eyeball, like in the, the black part. Mm -hmm. There's this like, like foggy, there's like stuff inside of it. So they go in and then they inject stuff that breaks that down and then they pull out all that junk mm -hmm. and then they put like a, a new lens a in? clear like new like lens film, thing in yeah. and then it like heals and they can instantly see that day how much how much uh does that cost to get that surgery i, I think they i think he said it oh it was a thousand people that did it and it was i don't, I don't I didn't know really, how much I didn't it was for my video. grandma but my grandpa's getting it done like in a week too and it's only a 10 minute thing They're yeah i pretty much i pretty much only saw uh the tweets it's a crazy thing else. to watch though like that whole surgery process <laughs> uh-huh it's insane that we figured out that you can do who, these things. Who was the guinea pig? I don't, pig? I, I really don't. Everyone in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they right? were putting in glass contacts. Oh my gosh, yeah. my grandma would tell me about glass contacts. Hell That's no. insane that there had I glass feel, contacts. I feel the <laughs> these little no plastic way. soft ones. I couldn't imagine putting like a, like a big grump up under my eye. And and imagine like, that shit breaking or a slight scratch in that and that's yeah. on that's your probably why they all work with just glasses <laughs> you know what i think about a lot too like bef even before that stuff like if you just had you just had bad eyes for your whole life there was no like oh yeah just like cloudy oh just and that's like, why someone was kind of yeah. saying like you know people witnessed a lot of miracles back then yeah because they couldn't see yeah <laughs> <laughs> nobody was like everyone couldn't see so they would make things you know appear disappear and like it was a miracle. <laughs> exactly. I vividly remember in third grade when I, when I couldn't see the board and I went home and told my mom, like, I can't see the board. And then they went to the eye doctor. They said I needed glasses. And I remember, cause I struggled in school. I was just like, I couldn't keep up. And I remember thinking like, I, I'm going to be smart. It's only cause I can't see the board. Oh. <laughs> and then I got glasses and I was like putting like the extra help glasses anyway. I was like, what the hell? I, that, but I that, would, that would be being, Zane too. I just remember being so, are you, are you confused? I'm not confused. Uh, uh, my brain is not working right now. I, I remember so being, talking. I remember being so <clears throat> excited. I was like, I can't wait because I'm going to be smarter. Yeah. Cause I really it thought was like my an excuse, excuse. Like, oh, the reason I'm not doing good is cause I can't see the board. Right. As soon as I get the. <laughs> you have perfect vision, right? Yeah. You don't wear contacts. Not at all. Are you sure that you can see perfectly? Um, I'm pretty sure. I mean, there's there's can we do a vision like, test. Can, and have can Zane, you read? Can you read that on the board? Yeah. Can, we pull, up, can we pull up an eye exam? And Zane, I can read everything in that Google search right now. Uh, read what it says under. I have contacts and I can't see that. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean that's Let's cover your right eye. Oh, okay, Zane. I mean that that bottom row. It's well, you it's, have to cover one eye. Is it supposed to be that small? Yeah. Yes. On um, the smallest line I could read is the third one. The third. Uh, read it. Why? What? Why? <laughs> oh my god! See. What are you reading? Wait, he has incredible Wait, vision. What are you looking at? Zane, oh, see, that's that, that, this light's not helping. One second. Yeah. One My fucking three. eyes blurry now. There's no way. Below wait, that. Zane, wait, Heath, don't you have contacts? Yeah. Wait, wait, let's Zane, who I'm does just, not I'm, have- I'm trying to read it to see what it is from his life because I'm having a tough time with contacts in it. Y M C. Oh my What line gosh. are they reading? I, we can't see The it. third line. The third line. Zane, that's really that's good. H -Y, that's H-Y-D-O-K. Oh. No. No, oh, no, no, no. The th the one under. He's it. going smaller. Oh hell, I, I can't. That's amazing. And that isn't H Y D O K. That's not H Y D O K right <laughs> there on that black. The line. fourth one, H Y D O K. N V D O K. That is not an N. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I got LASIK. Oh fuck, no. I mean, get a refund. Yeah, that's um. That's really good. Kid, all right, what about now? Uh, that we can go to the bottom one. Yeah. O O Z D Y X. That's good. Okay. Zane, you have really good eyes. Re like that's, that's, that's crazy. A, that's impressive. Whoa. Wow. Okay. The one, especially covering one eye. Cause I, I, I sometimes, yeah, I sometimes don't, when people say like, oh, like you are 30 years old yeah, and you don't have a single problem with your vision. Sometimes when people say that, I'm like, I don't believe that. How do you yeah. not? The way we look at screens all day mm -hmm. and like <laughs> in this time that's true. of life, there has you know to be what? a little bit. There's time, there's times where I'll be like driving and I'll look far, it'll be blurry for like two seconds and then I'll go clear. But that's not because it's adjusting. I just feel like it's been happen happening lately for the past like maybe year or two. And whenever I see them, I'm like, oh, I might, because my dad has glasses, my mom has glasses. 
So I know I'm going to need glasses at some point in my life. I think also think about genetically, like his dad and his mom, they seem a lot younger than what they are. I feel like they really yeah. genuinely like their bodies are younger than what their age they, is. They spend so $2 million like- dollars a year to be that way. <laughs> That's true, yeah. um, what's crazy to me is every time I go to the eye doctor and get a, a test to renew my prescription, um, my eyes get better every single year. Huh? My eyes are getting better and better. Maybe you need to tell Brian Johnson what you've been doing. I don't know what it is. I started at like negative 3.75 and then I went down to negative 3.5, then negative three. I'm down to negative 2.5 now. <gasps> That's is that, amazing. Is that normal? Mine, mine fluctuate, but not that much. Like I was at 4.450 for my right eye mm-hmm. and it dropped to... Four, and then this one's at 375. Just wait, it'll get better. You all had to wear contacts? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, you can choose if you want to wear contacts, but yeah. <laughs> Zane gets colored contacts. <laughs> <laughs> what I thought was really strange though, I didn't know that um, somebody had posted it. It was cars at night. I thought everybody saw those huge streaks and beams of light going out of oh, the astigmatism. everything. I thought everybody saw that. I didn't know that it's only if you have astigmatism. Mm-hmm. Mine's in my left eye. Oh, when you it, are you, or you're saying when like um when you're looking at cars and there's just like crazy streaking beams of light expanding yeah, it's, out. Yeah, it, oh, it's like it goes up and it's down. Like, it's yeah. like vertical and it goes. Yeah. Yeah. I thought everybody saw it like that. Oh, uh, that's wild. Do you see it like that? Really? I do. Can you pull up um stigmatism versus astigmatism like, oh, cars like, at see? night? Like that's all I know. So it's so weird to me that. People Can you don't tell see which one of us has the astigmatism? Which one of us has the astigmatism? Yeah, click that. None of us picture. are colorblind, right? Oh, that's you know. What, oh, you know what? If you um literally take your iPhone out, if it's like a little foggy, that's oh, exactly yeah. what it looks that's like. When you take that, a picture, that's, that's what, yeah. what I see, or that's what it looks like after you get LASIK for like a couple weeks. Oof. Yeah. Oh man. Oh. So damn. you don't you don't see it with those streaks? No. no. Oh no, baby, you gotta just you gotta just rub your eye a little bit because when you that rub your so when you weird. rub your iPhone lenses, <laughs> it, then it's back to normal. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, HelloFresh. And if you don't know what HelloFresh is, HelloFresh is a food delivery service where you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh now has 40 weekly recipes to choose from. So you can say a bye bye to that recipe rut and treat yourself and your family to exciting new flavors every week. And look, no matter your lifestyle or meal preferences, HelloFresh has recipes sure to please everyone at your table. From fit and wholesome to veggie or family friendly, you'll always find something even the pickiest eaters will enjoy. And you'll only find quality ingredients in HelloFresh's recipes. In fact, ingredients travel from the farm to your house in less than seven days. I love HelloFresh because I have a hard time cooking. I'm not a chef at all. I can barely cook like like mac and cheese, you know what I mean? But they have exactly what you need to do. And they give you the exact measurements and the ingredients all in one box. You know, you're not over, you're not over making, you're not, mm-hmm. or you, you're, you don't, you're not missing anything. Yep. Everything is right there. Even a monkey can cook it. My favorite part is that you're not wasting food. Every time I cook, I always have like, like you said, extra stuff left mm-hmm. over, or you have to buy like a big box of something or a whole jug of ketchup. Exa- and exactly. Stuff just goes to waste. I feel like I'm actually saving so much money long term exactly. by getting exactly what I need for each meal. And it's those. It's those random ingredients that mm-hmm. you're never going to use again. That's what I love most about it. You get the, the big bottle of that tahini or whatever it is. Get a big ball of it. You never use it again and it expires in your pantry. Yep. We all know we all got expired stuff in our pantry, but they give you just a dollop of what you need just and you'll get it them, every them, month fresh. Them cute little sour cream packets. Exactly. It's a great way to spend quality time mm-hmm. with your loved ones, with your parents, with your new boyfriend and girlfriend, with your crush, with your best friends. You all get together. Instead of going out to eat, just stay home and cook some hella fresh. And you're cooking meals that you never would have thought before. Every time I get a new box, I'm like, I, I, I wouldn't even dream of being able to cook these things. It makes me feel like I'm actually a, a good A chef. Michelin star That's chef. That's right, baby. Because you get to spread it. The, they show you how to do it too. Oh, oh we be dressing it up. Oh, exactly. <laughs> and they, you do it exactly with the, the, way, the mm-hmm. way the picture shows. And then you see it and it looks exactly to the picture and you feel amazing. So if you want to eat and cook like us, all you got to do is go to hellofresh.com slash unfiltered65 and use code unfiltered65 for 65% off 
plus free shipping. Exactly. Go to HelloFresh.com slash unfiltered65 and use code unfiltered65 for 65% off plus free shipping, baby. Thank you so much, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this podcast. We love you. And there is a reason you are America's number one meal kit. We love I know you. why. Mm. You know why? Oh, I know why. Tell him. Uh, because Mama Hussar approves. That's right. My she dude. gave that full stamp. Exactly. And the fact, that, the fact that they shipped to her all the way in Nebraska <laughs> or wherever she lives, that I, that's why. It says a lot. Exactly. Thank you, HelloFresh. Oh, are- have you seen this gold and white or blue and black cleat? It's like the new dress. It's gold and white. It's not gold and white. The cl- it's a cleat? No, yes. Wait, I thought that was a joke. No. No, because she's, she sees gold and white cleats. I see black and blue. I, and it pisses me off because I want to see it. And I feel like Probably people are- Probably news or oh. meme. It's it, it's the same as like the the black and blue dress. Yeah, that girl. Pop. That okay. is gold and white. That's a blue and black That's- cleat. That's go- what? That's, that's golden. That's white. golden white. Where is the black? What? Yeah, that's golden white. What did you guys think the dress was originally? Really? I, I Hold on, Heath. I'm kind of the, the, the cleat is black and it's got like a gold, like it's got like a gold highlight on no, it. No, it's gold it's, and it has a black shadow on the bottom. Black cleat. It's got a little bit of light coming in from the top. The sh- streak is clearly blue. He's kind of right though in terms of the way the blight is hitting it. That the light's coming from the back of the shoe. What color is the tongue? Black. Pitch black? It's it's got like a gold sheen to it. It's definitely gold, metallic gold with the black shadows. You're seeing a black and blue shoe. Is this a is this yeah, a the, promo? The, the streaks to me are blue. Is this an Adidas promo? I thought of that because it's like circulating right now, and Adidas is so clear. But black and. Do you bl- think they did this on purpose? I don't know. No, it is it is gold and white. Look at the look at the fucking. Zane, I, what is this like? What is is I it coming through I, a box? It, it would also be even if it. Like, I see what he's saying. It would be genius to come out with a shoe that's gold and white so that it can circulate through the internet. And then they can just- I think it was like new shoe from Adidas and it was probably in a commercial coming through and people were like, yo, that black and blue right, shoe is saying, dope. And they're like, what are you talking? But I'm saying like they probably did it. it on purpose and be like, let's do a gold and white shoe and the chances of it circulating as like, you know? Well, know. wasn't the dress originally black and blue? I've only seen gold Pull and white. Pull up the white. black and- <laughs> the dress I, was black and blue. It was never white the, and gold. The mass was saw it and said black and blue, but when you like really like take your eye and just like stare at it no, for a while. No, some people some people yeah. just genuinely see only The dress was bl- black and blue. They brought the girl out on TV and it was black and oh, blue. Oh, that did? was the picture. Was that that was the picture? That was the original picture right there. To me that's gold and white. That's crazy huh? to me. Hell. But I will say, like, see, that's insane. <laughs> you must have superpowers than the way you're able to like separate an image from an image and see what the world in which that thing is existing in. Like to me, I don't see gold. I, that's black. See, look at that picture that looks like a flag. Down, down. It, that, you know what? That is like that should tell you everything you need to know. Okay. Is this too much um, TV? Like yes, too much? a little bit, a yeah, little bit too little visual. Bit. Let's get a little bit more into the stories. Interesting, okay. God, what that shook up the world. <sighs> the guy that made an apology video for watching his gamer Twitch stream friends on AI porn. <gasps> you, you didn't hear about this? Dude, AI porn is about to be a huge problem. No freaking problem. Did you Did you hear oh, about this? God. You didn't hear about this? No. Yeah, uh, this Twitch streamer, I forget his name. I just, I saw it on Twitter yesterday. He was on, he was live on a stream and somebody saw that he had tab, a tab open of two like streamers, two girls that are streamers that like he's friends with. And he was like watching them, a, them, a version of them like AI form, like performing. <gasps> And that would be like if I had Mariah like in a tab. And yeah, everyone like, was like, yeah, yeah, like, which like I would Mariah, never Mariah Amato, like AI, and someone just like grabs her face and puts, like, or like you know, AI generates yeah. your face on a, another woman's body. And it's like, basically like remember those digital Christmas cards where you could put your face on an elf, and it's like, oh yeah, yeah but it's, it's like, like it's, but it, but the thing is that it looks, <laughs> it looks like it looks way too like real and good. Oh yeah. no, I, I missed something. <gasps> That's a problem. That's a huge oh, problem. It will be that seems a like very illegal. It will be a massive problem. Yeah, it, 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 I think it will be at some point very very illegal. Real quick, what I what I got from a little bit of the conversation, this guy got caught watching two of his friends, like fake AI 
porn. Is that what it was? People saw that he had that tab open and I mean, Got it. We're the from there it's like case closed. It, were the girls mad? <clears throat> yeah. 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 I think they're, I think you, you get, to, yeah, I think they were both upset. Very, I mean, it's your friend. Imagine, just like imagine. Yeah, that's weird. That is so Imagine scary with AI friend porn. Go, like friend group, that, that's, that's really insane. Yeah, now it's just, they're going to be pictures of you, which part of me, I'm like, bring it on. Hopefully they look good. If there's images of me yeah. out there doing porn yeah. that aren't, I think, it's not me. And uh, you know, also it depends on if that's something that would really like truly like yeah. make you feel sick or hurt. Like I, I was even, you know, it all depends on how you feel when if sh some shit is like that is out of you. But um. So I just saw like a picture the other day. It was like maybe <clears throat> a month ago. I saw, remember the picture of me with my belly button piercing? Yes. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I was like this. <laughs> and then we're recreating the hangover picture. Mm -hmm. The hangover picture that was somebody I saw it like a month ago. Someone took that picture and did a really scary Good job of making oh, it look no. like I was naked. Like it, it, the penis like came out. Ev uh, oh my! It was. I, I'll, sh I'll show. I'll, sh I'll show it to you. Now I'm not. Obviously, you can't see it. It was wild. But like after seeing that and like seeing like this shit going, it's Did you a should, problem. You just started OnlyFans, but it's all AI. <laughs> like, that, but that's but that's another problem that people can start. People could just start making OnlyFan pages and. You yeah. don't really have to show your real. I don't think people would care because people, they use their imagination anyway. Exactly. So. But exactly. You know how, it's insane. You know how fucked we are though? Because like we had hours and hours and hours of podcasts and videos of us Audio, talking everything. and moving around at every single angle. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. Download Forget every it. single podcast and vlog of yeah. us. You can you make us at all different angles talking. And yeah. Like, here's a, th here's, here's a thing though. I mean, it mean that situation. I, I, I don't think I would care. I think it'd be more funny to me because yes. I, I, you know, because I, I just feel like I wouldn't care. But for a, a lot of people, I feel like that's that's really bad, especially girls, especially because just yes. having just having your face on a body like that, that's fucked up. That's crazy. That this isn't a real person. No, but they're taking real people's faces. Yeah, correct. Which is correct. Correct. And, and you know, if, they've been, they've been doing it for a, for a long time, like uh, just on pictures. But now that it's video, it's just like it's too it's too real. Yes, it, it's, oh, it, it's the biological drive and satisfaction of all of it and that getting just served to anybody exactly. on the phone where it's like, oh, that girl I think at work is pretty. I want to see her have sex. Yeah. Boom, here it is. Oh. That's freaky. It's, it's freaky. Yeah, it's, um, it's- It should be illegal to, I think, possess that. Like the same way like child pornography is or where you have- Yeah, because I'm sure they're editing that type of shit too and that's fucking oh, insane. I'm sure, I'm sure they are. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's scary sad. times. How are they, and how are they going to tackle that? Dude, when okay. there's AI podcasts of us having even better conversations than we're having <laughs> yeah. now. Like we're we gotta make that money. <laughs> we have a whole AI episode the fans don't even know. They oh like, my. They've been on fire lately. Right? That's, <laughs> that, that's wild. Okay, I found it. You ready, Heath? I guess. Do you want to see it or not? Yeah. yeah. I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable and show it, you it. it. Okay. It. This, is, this is wild. Show me, Zane. Show me. I I'm That's left wild, speech. Right? Yeah. It's fucking insane. Just Todd. Oh my god. <laughs> Todd next. That's to it. fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw Todd's face. Someone sent that to me a month. It was like a tweet. Oh, Someone man. like replied to it, and people were under the comments like, "Oh my god, is this?" Like people like genuinely <laughs> thought it was real, and it's like that's it. That's it. We are at a time where now people can just like believe anything. You nasty. Have Wild. you been um, following up with the uh, the NFL player drama with Jeffrey Star and everybody trying to debunk? Oh my is. god, dude! It, I keep watching them just because now, I, like, I've, it's the been my whole are feed. Funny. So, from what I've understood, and for the people who don't know, is that Jeffrey Star has been posting these. Suggesting yes. anonymous pictures that he's with this NFL, NFL player yeah. that doesn't show his face. It's always like him from behind. <laughs> the hand on the plane, you see like a leg. Uh, I don't know how nobody has confirmed any player yet. It's definitely I, not anybody big. It's gonna be like some random player. Like who's a bench just, warmer. Yeah. Are we sure it's even an NFL player? Or well, is he what just- he, It's just what he's saying. Yeah. You don't think it's a stunt? I think it's a bit of a stunt, but- Because I don't think he'll ever show him. I think he's to just gonna- or he used to be a former NFL player, maybe. Like, it's just, 
It's like, like maybe he had one season and now <laughs> one he's out. Se one season. But people are saying it's like Tom Brady, huh? No. Yo, he's oh, busy because doing 80 for Brady right he's now. He's busy meeting Jason Nash's mom. <laughs> Why would Tom Brady want to go run around the world with Jeffree Star? <laughs> His three kids. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hi. Wait, what, is it? what does Jeffree Star say? Hi, Hi, how are you? <laughs> so oh, interesting. Yeah. He he actually lives in like Wisconsin with yaks, Wyoming. right? Wyoming. 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 He, doesn't he like murder the yaks? What? Or he makes like yak meat out of it? No way. Oh. No, I don't think Maybe so. Maybe milk. <laughs> no, he make <clears throat> Jeffrey Star. I thought had his own line of yak meats. Like it's like him living on a. Is it like a like a farm for like raising meat? He raise like I'm pretty sure he kills his yaks, doesn't he? Maybe. Does him in the shed just. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Star's Yak Ranch sells yak meat. I'm sure maybe if one passes away, but oh god, I don't know. You don't sell dead like I'm pretty sure once a cow dies of natural causes, you can't sell the meat of like a naturally dead cow because that means like it died for a reason. Is he living with his team out there or is he by himself? Like I'm just so curious of how he's living out there right now. I, don't I didn't know. even know you farm. could eat yak. <clears throat> I would yak, yak I would yak it up. <laughs> so, I just hope Jeffree Star doesn't live in a house as tacky as the last one. His last one looked like his the crazy cheesecake. That, factory. that was like the Great Gatsby. It was it was just so, it was so oh, big. It I, was I drove by that big yellow box house that we talked about in the high episode. I drove by it today. It's just so funny. <laughs> doesn't it look like a teenager just <laughs> made a house on Sims? Like it has balconies out the front. Like who's sitting on that balcony? <laughs> it was the one we drove by, and I was like, that looks like a like. An Armenian drug lord, just like crazy box. Oh, the gaudy. Yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, got, I gotta see. I mean, I know I've seen it driving by. I just yeah. gotta, I can't put the picture in my head right now. It's weird know. to me that we only eat like three different land animals. Go on. Like, oh, chicken, pork, and beef. Like, that's, that's crazy to me. Yeah. You're surprised it's not more? Yeah. Like, maybe it just doesn't. It's just interesting. But people eat rabbit. People eat frogs. But like as like but a like, like a everything mass. else is just wrong, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. why we picked these three <clears throat> that it's okay, but if you saw like a go rabbit would, burger no. at a local rat, you'd be like, who the why would you at, you know what I mean? Like it's just interesting. But, but maybe we, people here just like maybe tried it, they don't like it, or it's just maybe it goes bad quicker, or it's also just been years of tradition and what's been on the food yeah, but chain we eat and like, also what's been considered holy and like yeah. relationships people have. Like a thousand with, different sea creatures. You know what I mean? Yes. Like we'll eat mussels and clams and oysters and uni and this fish and salmon and tuna and all. The, you know what oh. I mean? Like there's like a million different things we eat from the sea. But also, but animal, different types of mammals eat different types of food in, like, and that depends on how they taste. Like fish consume... <clears throat> the biodome of the ocean. So, and all of that comes from like- Yeah, but uh, some fish eat like kelp and stuff, but then others will eat other fish. True, true, true. But like, there's a reason why we don't eat like seagulls, even though they look like they're so easy to shoot is because mm -hmm. they just eat trash all the time and they taste like shit. Like, so some animals don't taste as good. I don't, you know what? That's a great question. I'm trying to think- It's just of, weird. That is interesting. Why we don't, but I mean, it's humans. We, we were complicated. We ate a dove before that shit was. That's that's what I'm saying. There's a, a an insane amount of doves. Why are we not normalized? I think, I think, normalized dove I think eating doves, is all I'm uh, saying. Doves are like really Chickens, pretty, and people use it for like they're spiritual. Wedding, the ducks, yeah, spiritual. And there the you ducks go. have to. <clears throat> the ducks have to fly. That's like inhumane, though. To like in, chickens are like can fly, but they're like flightless, and therefore so, people cage them and stuff. But having like a bird that's supposed to fly in a cage to eat is like kind of cruel. Does that make sense? I guess. I think there's like, but the thing is, I'm not making these rules, but I'm just trying to think of like why they did. Where's do the that. line? Yes. Yeah. Because like, then, cause <clears throat> then a, a bird to like live a natural like life has to fly around and stuff. How do you keep control of that in order to like kill it? Obviously, that's the game in fun of hunting. Chickens they graze around. You put them there. You kill it. It's done. Ostriches. Right? Ostriches are a lot more meat, and they don't fly. But ostriches don't breed as fast as. Chickens, how many, uh, it takes an ostrich to lay an egg probably once a month. Cause an ostrich egg is like that. They're not shooting Oh, out. imagine that omelet. <laughs> I would have an Lord. ostrich egg omelet. Those look <laughs> good. The amount of protein you'd get in one meal, my goodness. Wasn't there an episode of Even Stevens what hotels where they like, eat an ostrich and they like yeah. make the omelet with an egg? <laughs> Shit.
<laughs> you always sh- wonder why hotel like, eggs taste different. They're ostriches, <laughs> ostrich eggs. You eat it out of the shell. You just like cut it. <laughs> <laughs> yes i don't know before we continue we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast seat geek if you don't already know seat geek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets to live events super simple we've got the app on our phones and it's by far the best way to buy tickets whether it's concerts baseball football festivals or whatever you're into seat geek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying super simple and seat geek looked at the data and it turns out our viewers love as you know Bad Bunny, mm. Steve Lacey, mm. Harry Styles, obviously, mm-hmm. and Kendrick Lamar, all of which are on tour right now. Matt is actually at a Harry Styles concert right now mm-hmm. with Patricia. And guess what he used to get his tickets? Seeky, baby. There's only one place to buy tickets where you're going to get the best price in the whole world. Exactly. And you get to see if the price is good while you're on the app. It's going to have a green dot if it's a good deal or a red dot if it's a little bit pricey. Exactly. And don't worry, we've got the hookup. Use code unfiltered for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Again, that's $20 off your first purchase with promo code unfiltered. Make sure to click the link in the description to download the app today and buy yourself a ticket, baby. SeatGeek, we love you so much. And we know everybody listening loves you as well. And again, it's the only place to buy tickets. Exactly. And thank you for being a continued sponsor on this podcast see geek we love you i'm going to harry styles concert tonight and i'm so you know how do you see like harry styles like on tiktok like videos of his yeah. concerts and fans and stuff it looks it's crazy where i'm like Jennifer some Anderson fans was there just scream the whole yeah. time i don't even think i'm gonna hear for anything. some reason it just makes me seeing all this video i'm just like i don't think i would want to go do you know what i was like, even if, i had a question about all these like jennifer aniston was just there at the recent concert and i was thinking like do you think their team is like, it would be a good look. People will film you. Like, like not that they don't like him, but they'd be like, just show up to the Harry Styles concert. Yeah, it yeah. does seem like a lot because of these celebrities want to be like seen there. Seen right, because they PR all sit move. in that same perfect seat where the people in the pit can get them, can get Harry Styles. Like it just- I, I truly think, like usually I don't believe in that shit. Like, oh, PR, no. I think that, I think genuinely, I think because everybody is filming yeah. and it looks good. Like, oh, you're a Harry Styles fan. Now yeah. you're going to gain the fan base of all of Harry Styles exactly, fans. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. He is like, ob- from what I've seen, he's an amazing performer and he's great. Here's a perfect scenario. This was not PR. This was just authentic. But when me, Todd authentic. and Scott went to a 21 Pilots concert, right? Yes. And we, um, this girl. Oh, I remember this. This ended up not being a good idea because I think we hurt somebody. But um, we. There's hurt? A, yeah. Well, not 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 badly. Oh. But um, there's a girl in the wheelchair and we, um, me and Todd were like, we were a little drunk and we're like, we probably f- we felt a little stronger than we usually <laughs> would if we were sober, but we're like, oh my God, like this poor thing can't see. We should like pick her up a little bit so she can like at least get a good view that's for like, fine. Yeah. you know, 10 seconds, whatever. Like, to, So that's what we did, Wait, right? she said, can you guys lift me up? No, Which, it was their idea. Uh, I, did y'all offer? He, did you ask if it was okay? No, you no, no. Didn't I, go up. No, I, they didn't I, just like. No, I'm going to be honest. I think I think she I think she may have asked. Definitely. I, you guys have wouldn't have just gone up to someone in a wheelchair and picked them up. No, we wouldn't have. You're right. You know, she did ask. Um, but so like, that's like, a weird, can you pick me up in my wheelchair? I mean, if I was in a wheelchair, if I, but look, that's drunk, not important. That's I'm not important. sure for a second she was like, put me, pick me up, pick me up. Yeah, I think yeah. it was just good energy. Yeah, yeah. And me and Todd were a little drunk. We're like, let's do it. So we picked her up, right? And, um, you know, woo, yeah. And then we put her back down. And then the next that we actually ended up, we maybe, I think we may have hit somebody accidentally, but I Probably think on I think accident. Yeah. yeah. Um, so sorry if that was, that was you, um, because I remember seeing on Twitter, but we, on Twitter the <laughs> next day the the video did, so, it went viral. The oh. video, the, it was a zoom in video and <laughs> see two people picking oh, up a really wheelchair. Funny. But like we, I wasn't, we, I, we weren't thinking of that in the moment because we right. were drunk and we were just right. like in the moment with this but girl. It was fun. It was fun. But like seeing that, like, I was like, whoa, that like, that looked that looked so good for just <laughs> twenty one pilots and right. everybody there and us like it just looked good PR yes. wise. Uh-huh. So I don't. That's why I believe that uh, genuinely yeah, yeah, people yeah. are being asked to go to shows. Oh, uh, right, right. Like seeing yeah. something like sometimes Harry Styles at shows though he'll like oh <laughs> is it is it good sorry is it your so, guys birthday? sorry I keep on I, people keep complaining about that I keep on <clears throat> and people will hear it from oh, from sorry, my yeah. mic. But yeah, but there are moments like in Harry Styles' show where he's like, oh, is it your dad's birthday? Dad, is that you? Uh, Okay, come up on stage. And it's this whole moment. I'm like, is that dad paying for that moment? Like sometimes these interactions with fans, I'm like, 
Hmm. Is this bitch getting like who paid? Or you know when Justin Bieber would bring up a girl and be like, one less lonely girl. I'm like, <laughs> it was always the girl who got up on stage looked like she was some rich kid <laughs> whose dad paid for them to be uh, picked yeah, up on yeah. stage. I don't I I think moments like that are genuine. I think so too. Because it's no it's a known thing for the Harry Styles concert to bring signs. So cuz he's a sign reader. So he'll like pick so everybody and their mothers has a sign out there. She probably said like it's his birthday, it's my dad's birthday and then he played with it cuz he's very good at crowd work. It's like a comedian like they can be like is, they can be known for their crowd mm -hmm. work. I think that's what he does. Damn. Yeah. I think. I guess. I think a lot of people go out there just because he does that. He does like a lot of crowd work. So they feel like they're going to get that moment with him. Or like uh, for Matty Healy, you might get kissed. You might get a little makeout sesh with your favorite artist. Or if you're Janet Jackson, <laughs> she might ride you for five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, that video. Oh my gosh. That was Wild. Insane. I got pulled on stage once. For what? His name is Jake Miller. Oh yeah. oh yeah, and I I just saw, I did TK's podcast and a couple videos after mine, he was on and I was like, what in the, and I have not like seen any or heard anything from him in a long time. And I was like, that's so like, what a small world. Wow. Um, He performed at like Six Flags in New Jersey and me and my sister were there and we like went to go see the show. How do you perform at Six Flags? They got, they got a they stage. They had like a huge stage. I know yeah. they got a stage, but they you know, bring out. You've been to Fright Nights. <laughs> 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 it was a big Spooky stage. Spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a spell on you. <laughs> and, uh, that's so good for Universal Studios to have some uh, shit like yeah. that. Anyways, keep going. No, yeah, that's the, I mean. Oh, that's the tea? But did he dance around you? Like, what was the. Well, you know, like Justin Bieber has One Less Lonely Girl. Yes. It was that vibe, but it was like a cool, I don't remember the song. It had something to do with like. Where I was out there. I wish I could remember the song. But I, I, me and my sister were just like, should we just do a sign to see if like I can get on stage? And <laughs> it was one sign. We found, a, we found like a piece of cardboard that like a homeless person would have, and we like borrowed someone's marker. And I put, oh, oh, it was something to do with like a couch. I put, <laughs> I put will backflip for couch. Very good. And he like. Immediately was just like, all right, let's let's see this. So you went up and went like, and he. Well, I didn't think he would actually like. Oh, you know his team was like. <laughs> Thank God. we needed this. And I like. Did, <laughs> oh my God. Someone with a clipboard back there going. <laughs> We're good. Get her on. And uh, yeah, and then I just like sang the song, and then. You did the thing? You did the oh, no, no, no. But like, it was just like one of those, I was just like dance, like I was just dancing around. Like yeah. that, that's when I was a but little you did more. The, you did the backflip. <laughs> Mariah's like. I did like, the backflip, yeah. Right, you did the backflip. <laughs> <laughs> Pointing at everybody. Right, you do the backflip, but amazing. you missed the stage. <laughs> hey now, hey now. Speaking of artists pulling out, pulling fans up though, have you ever seen the one of Lady Gaga pulling up that fan? And that's that's not real. Wait, Wait what? that's not real, right? Or he there, must have been like that. doing There's, a lot of her dances, he, and like, she must he, have been like, like he comes on stage and she lets him on stage and she does exact core, the choreo, what all the other dancers are doing. And it just, there's no way that was real because if that was real, it's insane, but it, no, it's I pretty bet. insane. They do the, they do the same show everywhere they go. Maybe he saw a video of one filmed, yes. learn the choreo from the week or the few nights before his yeah. performance. And like just went through all the choreo and was like, I'm gonna learn the whole dance and then sit there and do it. It's like the single ladies dance. Everybody learned the single ladies dance. And then when she performed it, she had all her dances up there. If she pulled somebody up, they would know how to do it. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember in that video, I don't remember her going, come up on stage. I, he just comes on stage, but usually security's really good with like- There is a video of her telling him to come up. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe I think the one I watched, it was right yeah, after she Yeah, it was probably asked. cut. <clears throat> I just watched it like a couple days ago. That's why I brought it up. <clears throat> Sometimes like fan, or like a rapper though will like bring up a fan to like rap or like they do a big part of the song and like it's cute and all, but like, can they go back off stage and you go, go rap that part though? Say, say that again? Sometimes like, or like, or even like Machine Gun Kelly had this little girl who like yeah. came on to sing, you know, my ex best friend or something, yeah. that song. And I was like, she's like, I swear to God, I never, I was like, this is so cute. But if I was at the concert, I'd be like, 
I okay, want to hear now that. do the song all over again because that's what I paid <laughs> yeah. just to see you, not a five year old girl, sing the song. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to that girl. It was an awesome moment, but I'm yeah. like, just start over. Cute, redo it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, remember that? Remember that video of Ariana Grande? She um, she starts singing and <laughs> the girl goes, "Start over, start like she for she forgot to <laughs> press record. Shut yeah. up." And, and Ariana is singing. She hears that and she laughs. And then she tells him to start it over. She was so shocked that, that somebody, somebody had the audacity, had to, the audacity is to scream at her and say to start, start over. Because she missed the video. Isn't that wild? But like she didn't do Fucking that. You can tell she didn't do yeah. that as a joke. That girl was genuinely like, start over. Like I missed it. Start yeah. over. That's that's insane. <laughs> that's insane. People people are fucked crazy. In the head. Have you seen uh, you know, Adele is doing like her Vegas residency? Yeah, I and saw looks, that moment. It looks nice. And I heard tickets are extremely expensive to yeah. go to that. But you know, she walks, she walks around during let me photograph you in this life. <laughs> and everyone the thing is, it's like, I love that. I want to be in the room to watch it, but I just can't stay. She's right next to everybody. She's walking through everybody. It's she's, really she is yeah. walking around like she is Jesus in Nazareth. <laughs> like yes. there's yes. something that I that makes me cringe watching it because everybody looking at her is trying to get her them to like have a moment but but she can get away with it though she, like, i've seen those videos she can get away with because she's so just um but it's so intimate the way the video shot where i know me i would look like a fucking <laughs> dork right there. i'd be like, like I just it's the, i don't know there's something about it where i love but i'm like i can't finish the videos because the cameras are so close on these people yeah who are, who are looking at adele like <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know yes, what I mean? yes, yes. Hi. Like, there's really great moments. You know, people are FaceTiming their loved ones. They have a picture of oh, like. Did, the, yeah, did you wife. see the guy, the guy with the wife? That was that made me tear up a little bit. He had he can't. It looked like he came by himself, uh -huh. and his wife, I think, was a you know big fan. And he went there and just had her picture, just a picture of her, just up like that, mm. like. To yeah. show like spiritually she was there and she and Adele thought that he was on FaceTime. Like she had he had her on FaceTime. Oh. But she noticed she saw it was just a picture. And that like she stopped, she like stopped and was just like, guys, I, I have to point this out real quick. Oh it was really Did cute. you see the one where there was like a, a little boy who was like probably like seven and he kinda like had his back and he was still sitting? And then she like tapped him on the shoulder, the little boy turned around and she just like planted a kiss like on his face and everyone around was like, oh my gosh, like Adele. Like, yes. I just think that's like so cool. Imagine just getting like your kid just getting kissed by Adele. Like <laughs> I'd be like, no, imagine if that was all the way around. <laughs> my, if it was Michael Bublé, like, it's like a girl. Like, I mean, she planted one on his face. On his mouth? Like, what do you mean like on his face? face? It, I'm pretty sure like on his mouth. I'm pretty sure there's she kissed no the Yeah, I don't, there's no way. <laughs> was it no. like the the cheek to cheek? She Tom braided it. Mm. Unbelievable. Like the kiss and Oh, what? is it her son? Oh. Oh. That makes a lot more sense. Oh shit. <laughs> That's all excited. I wish that was me. <laughs> oh yeah. Adele kisses a random child in on it. Oh, it's her son. <laughs> He <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even get phased, well, obviously. It's like he's almost it's embarrassed. He's like, Mom. Yeah. Mom. Oh, what's weird is like, I saw that video and I was like, what a lucky young and boy. And think about like, it. Where is his parents? You know I what thought, I mean? I thought it was like them or something, or like maybe she knew them. That's or funny. I don't think that, that his friend on the right knows that that's his mom. Yeah. Because <laughs> he looked shocked. Re he was like this. Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> That is one of my favorite Adele songs, though. It Which was one? just like a move. Let me photograph you in this case. <laughs> that video of her singing at the Brits, that song that has like oh the one the one on the top where it's like all the bedazzled lights behind her. No, but but like she's on the mountain, like you could she's outside. Is that the one you're talking about? No, it's her best performance of that song live on YouTube. And I was in the room when that happened. Very good. Just what a brag. <laughs> Have you seen the video of that guy that walking around the mall being like, if you want to fall in love, and it's like the flash mob. <laughs> and they're like, if you want to wait on me, if you ever, but the thing is he's Do doing it videos? on the subway. He's doing it at the mall. Do those court. videos make you cringe when you see flash mobs? Well, once I see it on the fourth flash mob where he's doing it in another location, I'm like, yo, sing another fucking song. <laughs>
Oh, flash mobs always like when I see it, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Would you ever be in, were you ever in a flash mob? No, but I keep getting asked. You keep and getting keep asked by making, who? Um, my friend who's a choreographer, he choreographs like all those flash mobs. That, oh, like, really? Yeah. And um, he's always asking me if I want to be a part of it. Always. Could you do it? If it's, I did one for Dancing with the Stars, but it was like on Hollywood Boulevard and there was like hundreds of us, mm -hmm. which was fine because you can't even see me. And I was like, yeah. this will be fun to just like see the Dancing with the Stars people, whatever. So I did that. That was the only one I did. But the ones that he's doing are like proposals. And so it's more intimate. Uh. And it's just like, we're walking around the mall or we're walking around the park. But I just... Um, I think I'm too embarrassed. Is, is, there's, um, there's no, wait, no, no, no. Go on. I was saying, is, is he doing this because he's filming all of them or like, is he doing it more of like a, um, like he's obviously not getting paid to do it. He's just doing it for fun. Or he no. might be getting hired by me? somebody. He's getting hired by someone to No, no, not it. when there's like a proposal. Like, what? No, he gets paid. You have to get paid for that. Yeah, he's like, not just working for free. No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm, I'm confused. Say this guy wants to do a flash mob to propose to his girlfriend. They reach out and find choreographers that will choreograph yeah. a flash mob. I'm talking about the ones that you see in the mall. Mm -hmm. There's people proposing to somebody in the mall. Maybe. Yeah. There, I mean, there's, oh. there's flash mobs because you don't all the want time. it to be. You don't want it to be obvious. You know, some people do that. It's the, it, there's a flash mob for like various occasions. Yeah. yeah. A lot of times when you see proposal pictures. Yeah. A lot of times it's after the real proposal and they set up a nice uh, engagement shoot. Where it's like they recreate the knee and like mm -hmm. everybody does it differently. Yeah, they, they just coordinate like different. Like my sister, uh, her fiance proposed to her at their first date spot. Yeah, so, and then Heath took their engagement pictures at the beach in Florida. Yeah, uh, okay. there's something the flash mobs out there is nothing. Just never set your clocks at this. <laughs> 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 Having to show up somewhere, act like you're just a normal person, and then actually you're part of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's so. Uh, hokey, but beautiful about the whole. I thing. want to be a part of a flash mob, but like I'm just the one that sucks out of everybody. So <laughs> <laughs> it just starts of just <laughs> you're just Everyone's off like, a whole beat. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I want to do it. The flash mobs were like all the rage in like the early like 2010s and stuff. Yeah, like they were everywhere. Remember that movie with what was it, Friends with Benefits or something? There was a movie where. Um, oh. It was yeah. Mila Kunis and somebody else. I forget what it was. Did you guys ever do, what was it called at your high school? They would film the video, the dubs, was it a dub smash? Oh, where it'd be one seamless video and you'd be like singing it's, a certain song. It's five in the afternoon. Yeah, they'd go through thing. the classrooms. They did that like, on the I office. got a feeling tonight's yeah. gonna oh. be a good <laughs> night. And you'd have like the cheerleaders and then there would be like the student council, there'd be the anime club. But it's, yeah. one, it's one shot, yeah, okay, yeah, you know? Yeah. And the song changes through like different songs that were like hot for that year. Yeah, they kind of, right? they did that for the office. I think it was also around the time that couple for their wedding, their ceremony, they did Forever by Chris Brown and they oh, came down the aisle. Yeah. Because the office copied that moment. Yes, I know did that. The same song, I, I, I've seen but that. They one. did one in the office, yeah. But like, Got it. Yeah. But like high schools all across the country were doing yeah, no, I, I, dubs. I remember yeah, those. I also don't know when they had time to do that. <laughs> uh, it was always like for pep rally. It was pep rally hour. We never did it, but my brother would be like, yeah, we everyone never was so that. excited and the teachers were just pissed because it was. So much to coordinate the whole school. Our, our security immediately. They no, we're not <laughs> doing this. Yeah, shut it down. Shut it down. Wait, I mean, if if you do it at once and it looks really good, then like, yeah, sure. But that's a lot. That's a long time to fucking prepare for. Because you, like, you aren't, aren't going to get it done the first time. You're, you aren't. Some no. people weren't even ready when the camera <laughs> came around. <laughs> Everyone's trying to fight to get in it. Someone's taking too long. People don't know the words. They can't hear it. Have you seen a good one that a school has done? Yes, there were some there at was some a high schools. Yeah, there were really, really the- uh, Ours was shit. When I saw it, I was like, oops, I ain't shit. Well, I don't even think we had one, did we? All my school no posted- No reunion, no nothing. All my school posted were like jerk competitions in the cafeteria. Huh? We had those. Oh. In the cafeteria. I remember those. I thought, <laughs> I thought a different type of jerking. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> What is a jerk competition? How long can you jerk for? It's a jerk off. <laughs> jerk off. Wait, what's a jerk competition? It's like, you know how yeah, break, dan break like dancers just stand in a circle? You're a that jerk. Is... You're a jerk. But yes. But You're a jerk. But there was like the, oh God, the reject like was one move, You're but so they added in other moves like oh, the pin loved... drop and the Dougie and like all those different. Shit. Uh, it wasn't yeah, so you... much like you like battle. It wasn't like, <laughs> like that serious. It was just 
people hype to just go do it in a circle. Yeah. It was like a, it was a jerk circle. The bleachers, yeah. Dude, I, I, circle know, I know you said this before, but I, you know when like there was Stomp the Yard, uh, You Got Served, all those movies, yeah. Drumline. I thought my adult life, I'd be going to breakdance competitions all yeah. the time. Never once have I been to a breakdance competition. They're but when I was in middle crazy. school, I thought when I grow up, I'm going to break. I might get thrown yeah. into one. Mm -hmm. um, yes, or I'm at least going to them on the weekends. That's that's what sounds like a good. But every time you like end up in a situation where <laughs> I don't know why I have like crazy anxiety about it, but when there's a dance circle happening at a wedding or some like sort oh. of party and people are getting pushed into the center oh. and they're like, "You, you're next, Matt." Get in this. Get That's in why the you gotta oh, have your I, two moves ready. <laughs> you gotta come up with three moves that you will always have prepared yeah. for weddings. Walk it yeah. out. Oh, I do that little thing. I walk it out and then moonwalk away, and everyone goes, "Oh!" And then I go to the bathroom, <laughs> straight to the bar. Yeah. Or you know, or when, or when a friend that you know is not gonna get in that circle goes, "Go, go!" go and they push you right, yeah. and you then you're like, "Fuck!" You get it done. And you're like, "Go!" And they're like. <laughs> like go fuck yourself. That's yeah. that's me to you though, because because you like get you get people hyped up. Like saying get in there, and I don't want to do it. And then I do it, and then I'm Zane like go go. That. Zane always does that on the knees move where he yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, oh no no, I do this. I do this. Look look look. <laughs> <laughs> that is my go to. No, you do <laughs> one where you like your knees do like a split. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's been grinding the floor. Yeah. Kind oh, of. yeah. And I, and I completely fuck up my knee. My <laughs> or uh, with Zane, if he once he gets down the floor, he'll do this. And he goes smack. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he, <laughs> the, oh, it's like a burlesque dancer. Yes. Wow. It's the stripper heel clack. <laughs> yes. Just that, like, you know who showed me that? You did. <laughs> yeah. You know who showed me that? You did. <laughs> Yo, I remember one time when we were at that USC Zane, frat it's party. It's the it's the jiggle and, and then, then slap. You did that at a USC frat party years ago, and I was like, oh, my. <laughs> the party was like, this guy is like, legit. it looked like they had hired a stripper. You were just like, <laughs> and you two were like, just like. <laughs> you guys got to practice some duo moves for these future weddings. What are you going to do know. for Matt's? Oh, that's true. You we're going to do the whole the backflip move. No, we're <laughs> doing the whole it's tricky. Oh. From white chicks. Wait, oh. Like, with a flip too? Yeah. The we're, flip we'll is so it. easy. You're okay, good. then you do the flip. I'll do I'll try to throw it. Okay, thank God. It'll this dance speech circle. is my recital. But there was nothing worse than like someone though, you know, hops in the dance circle and they're not good and the crowd goes mild. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, that, you see, mild. you should never go mild on somebody that has that is brave enough to go in the circle. Uh, yeah. I'm always rooting, but like sometimes you k get these senses where the crowd's like, uh, <laughs> if someone else is like trying to do something. Oh. <laughs> I want a supportive dance circle. Right, you would never like get in a dance circle, right? Do. No, but like, would you, would you only go like, would you give 50% or would you give a hundred percent? 20. 20%. You, so why don't dancers give their full? No, they, they do. I don't. I think, I think oh. it's just an uncomfortable thing. Cause you don't want to show Most people off. there aren't like a dancer. And then you come in, it's like, you know, throwing on, it's just like, all right, we get, you know, it's like, almost like a, we get it type deal. Yeah. Oh, I'd I know. Be, I'd be like. like Good. But it's so funny in like those movies like like Honey with Jessica Alba, be like her and three <laughs> friends, they go to a bar and they like <laughs> three girls like just do some dance Actual together. Actual dance circles with <clears throat> dancers are so much fun. I don't go in. Yeah. I don't go in. So much fun because it, you want to give 110% and you want to see like everybody's different styles and their mm -hmm. moves and it's just like <laughs> it's crazy how different Never mind. <laughs> you guys want to go to a side show? What's a side show? Miles he keeps trying to get me to oh, go to a please, side show. No. What's well, like a, a side like a rap show. battle? It was like a Bay Area thing where people they go and like block off a whole intersection and they just take their no, they take no, their hoopies and not. they just start whipping donuts and like spinning and everybody's in like this huge crowd around an intersection. Oh yeah, no. hell no! And it's all Bucks just like traffic. it's crazy. Right? It's crazy. No part of me is interested. But in they that they way. do it at like midnight. It's not like a <laughs> yeah. But worse. they've also been doing they didn't. The police will then blockade when one happens and everybody gets a ticket. You'll get like a thousand dollar ticket. Yeah, well, that's why they, they get Oh, wait, oh, that's out. smart. Wait, they'll block a whole section and they, they have to come through that. They just they, did they, that they, in like <clears throat> SoCal. They oh, wow. like get in and try to get out quick, but like he'll go to like these different side shows. Yeah, and we're not he's bad. like, you should you should come with me. I didn't even know those were called side shows. Yeah. Oh, wow. I want uh, to go, go to a hell hole he where just the cars saw, are like, Driving on the walls. Have you ever seen oh, those? Like, <laughs> he got, he got hit at one. 
A well, car hit him? Yeah. While he was standing or in a car? <clears throat> standing on the outside. Like, because they're all like watching like video and everybody's like going, like they're like playing music and it's like a hype. And then one car like spun and got a little bit too close and clipped him and knocked his legs out from under. Oh, hell no. Um, it's, like a, it's like a car dance circle. Like you go in one at a time and like you do your drift. <laughs> you do your move. <laughs> you hit like a burnout. Oh, yeah. No, crazy. That, yeah, that sounds, uh, I don't want my leg clipped. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to. He's be in the side. Where where do you they usually hold these? They just pop up in different areas because it's illegal. So they like have to keep changing. It. They all coordinate. But is it like at an intersection? Is it more yeah. of like they'll do it downtown LA? <clears throat> downtown LA gets rowdy. It's so you're pretty much everybody's there for about five minutes. Like it's you, longer. It's longer than that. Jeez. Not my cup of tea. Should we, should we watch Tokyo Drift before we go to Tokyo? <laughs> I don't think the movie's that big over there. <laughs> they just have it playing on their like Times Square screens. <laughs> I just got charged five hundred dollars for SoCal Arena. Mm. Yo, I, I lost one good. of my favorite jackets this weekend. Oh no! I'm right about to walk out the arena, I go, "Oh my god, my jacket!" Like a college sports arena. It's so. It's not that big. It's not like the Staples Center. I'm like, can I please just go in? They go, no, you can put in a request. I'm like, it's an expensive jacket. That's reasonably expensive. And, but I'm like, I go, it's my favorite jacket. Can I please? She goes, sir, calm down. Just, <laughs> There's I nothing hate that. Sir, I, sir, you need to calm I down. I hate to put in a that. request. She goes, you can put in a request right there. And I'm like, and it was freezing outside of one of my jacket. She goes, no, put in a request. And I'm like, I put in my seat, everything. And I just got an email to they go, we, have, we don't know where your jacket is. Oh my. And I'm like, but somebody pro somebody probably took it. You want to close it out, Zane? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Make sure to check out the audio of the podcast every single Monday, Spotify, Apple, however you guys listen, and then the video version every single Tuesday, youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. Also, make sure to check out Cremota.com for the best coffee in the world. We've got K-Cups, we've got Bag Coffee, we've got Whole and Ground Espresso, um, and we also have matcha coming out very soon. We have a hot chocolate, truffle hot chocolate. That's really, really good. Again, Cremota.com. And then also make sure to check our Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. We got early access to all these episodes. So you get to see them a few days early, all ad free. We do a bonus episode every single month. The bonus, this recent one that we just posted was with Todd and Jordan. We got high and it was really, really funny. Um, and then you get a monthly Q and a access to the discord um, and everything we've ever posted on there. So make sure to check that out. Patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you so much. Very good. Um, have a wonderful day. We love you guys. Bye. And then, Oh, we do the unwind right now for another like 20 <clears throat> minutes. We keep the cameras rolling and we post this on Patreon as well. So unwinders, we'll see you in a second. Um, bye guys. Thank you.